hello so this is our lecture on pointers so it is a primer to pointer and we will take a small example so what happens in this code we can see so here we have we define three integers in x is equal to 5 y is equal to 10 and z is equal to 12 then we define a pointer to an integer so this is something new to us a pointer variable which points to the memory location where some integer variable is stored so what happens we should now try to see is that let's see so what happens is we have a kind of table here and this table has so basically three columns and we have variable x variable y and variable z and a pointer variable which is pi so now x is initially uh, so 5 and y is 10 and z is 12 so pointer is now null so we have not assigned any value to it and let's say for example that its memory location is 1000 this is 1004 so they are contiguous memory location because of static allocation and these are the values that are stored in so now let's see what is this third line doing so i'm assigning pi is equal to ampersand x so pi is now getting assigned so pi is a pointer to an integer and we are assigning it to ampersand x so which means this is now pointing to where a variable x is stored so it is now basically pointing to the memory location 1000 so this is the value of pi and it might be stored somewhere in some other memory location like 0x1528 so this is the thing now and then we do in this line a printf which is printf percentage d star pi so pi is now pointing to memory location which is 1000 and if i do star pi so it will give the value that is stored at memory location 1000 now let's see this line so this is star pi so star pi so pi is pointing to memory location 1000 at 1000 the value is 5 so this is equal to star of pi this is p of i and now star pi is equal to star pi into 2 so this value is multiplied by 2 and this becomes now instead of this this becomes 10 and now we do a printf star pi so 10 will be printed and this is actually getting changed in the memory location 100 even though we are not touching integer x anyhow here so last line is now we are making pi point to integer z so now this value is changed and now it becomes 1008 so now this is 1008 and it is basically so pi is pointing to this memory location so value stored here is so star pi now is 12 and so when we print so it will print at 12 so now let's look by debugging the code so we debug the code we go into the next line so we see that we have values z y and x and so they are now so we next line we move and what happens is that we have x which is 5 and pi is pointing to integer x and it is at location 0x4a so we now print something and let's look at the output so 5 is printed then we move further print the double value and let's check it so it is now 10 that's what we said and now pi is pointing to z so z is 12 and now we print it's 
star pi so which is 12 now we can see and this is how this code works so we learnt about pointers so pointers are variables that point so we learnt about so in summary so pointers So they store the memory locations of where other variables like integer x, integer y etc were stored and they point to the memory location of that. So we have two rules so we define int star pi. So this is the declaration that pi is a pointer to an int so we use this star and then when we have to assign it so we do pi is equal to ampersand of x which means x is a variable here of type int and then this represents the address and this called ampersand and pi is a pointer to int type which is represented here and so and when we have to find the value of that is stored in pi we do a star of pi which gives us the value so these two notations ampersand and star so this is called the de referencing variable so this is the first class on pointers i hope you could get some of the things